Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Matty from the Magpie channel with me. We've just lost to Newcastle 1 0 here at St. James's Park. You're smiling. <laughs> it's mad. Do you know what? I know you, lot, you got your. I'm not you know, you got your, be that guy, got your investment, you got your Saudi money. I didn't know you was paying refs as well. Oh, is that what it is now? You can't hold the licks, can you not? You <laughs> no, I, I can. I can. Licks. Listen, Come we won. We won. <laughs> Listen, but I actually think it was a very contested game, very physical. Yeah. Um, I think you guys really tried to rattle us and bully us, but we were up for it today. I think it was a very even game. I would have. I think a draw would have been a fair result, but small margins. I'm not going to go to decisions because I'll be. If, if I'm being honest with myself, we 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 need to do better when yeah. it comes to that game. Yeah. But your thoughts on it? What, what, you got the win today. I mean, listen, Arsenal should have done better. I think Arsenal mm. are a much better side than they showed today. Yeah. Uh, Newcastle did well to, to maintain them. I thought Jamal Lascelles at the back was was brilliant. You know, physical, yep. getting stuck in. Everyone was getting stuck in from early, mm. playing to the conditions, playing to the crowd. But you said it. The referee was was a disgrace, anyways. Man. Yeah, for both. Uh, to be fair, for both overall, sides, yeah, he completely bad. lost control. Of the the handball by Sack when he hand, Sack, how hand he boy, he's not given handball. <laughs> every every he was given corners when they were throw-ins. Yeah. <laughs> little things. I was thinking, what on earth is going on? I don't know what he was watching at times. And the, with the Kai Havertz red card, whether you think it's a red or not, I need to see it back. To be fair, yeah. from where I was, it looked like a red. Yeah. He, he comes in and then he, he boosts two or three Newcastle players for contesting it. Because their, oh, their, I did see their player, sort of, our yeah. player goes flying off, and then the, our players run over the referee completely, and then he books them both. He completely lost the game, and it's just another referee that's not good enough mm. for the Premier League. Another one. Do you see the fact, you know, Bukayo Saka there, I think was having, at times, good against, but I think he has Botman's number all day, but can you see that he gets kicked a lot and you kind of was smart, he got booked, then got subbed off? Yeah, so, you can see it. Aye. Okay, it, it, I just want to see. I just want to see how fair you're because because that was very clear that you know they're sharing around these these challenges. You see that a lot, don't you? You see you're going to target the you're going to target the best players. Mm. You're going to try and take them out of the game. You're going to try and frustrate them, and, and that's what we did. And, and mm. it worked to be fair because you you give him an easy game, you set off him. He's, he's going to have a field day, isn't he? Yeah. So we do what we had to do. What we had to do. But uh, to be fair, I thought it was going to be a better game. To be honest, I didn't really enjoy watching that game. It was As very in more nervy. more goal. What do you mean better? Quality. As in more Oh. Just quality play. I don't think any side had major chances. You know yeah. what I mean? We scored. I can't remember us really testing David Raya. You didn't. Do you know what I mean? So I, I wanted a bit more from us, but we looked a bit tired again. You know, we've, we've got injuries just like you have. Yeah. Both of us don't have a Spain in the team. Yeah. You don't have Jesus. Don't have you don't have Party. Odegaard. You don't have Party. Oh, yeah. We don't have Botman. We don't have Tonali. We don't have Isaac. So maybe that's why. Do you yeah, mean? Maybe we'll true. see a better game next year at, at your place. But listen, I'm, I'm buzzing to get the three points, mate. Because yeah. Arsenal are a top side. You're going to be in the title race again. And we're four points off. Off years now, so it's all play. For. Let me end with just asking you because for me, as a fan going away from this, very disappointed. We're now not unbeaten, and and as much as it's a difficult place to come, we actually have quite a good record here. Mm. I'm very disappointed. Long journey back home, but for you as a fan, what does it mean for you and and you lot going forward? Because you've had some, your, your record's been a bit up and down even throughout the season. So for you as a fan after this game, where are you going with, with this? Result? I think it's a big step in the right direction. I thought it was a game where you want to test yourself against yeah. the big boys and to get the a result, get that win against you lot, it'll mm. breed massive confidence in that team now. Yeah. It will. Going into Dortmund next week, the Champions League, just beating Man U, beating you, it'll give her a big Shit, boost. Yeah, you know, man, we've know. got Champions League coming up and then we're still in the quarters of the Carabao Cup. We've got big games coming up and everyone's going to be flying. Everyone's yeah. going to be full of confidence and ready to go. See you soon.